guys, welcome to another Best GIMP training video. In this video, we're going to continue along with the selection tools. And we left off on the scissor select tool. Now, if you click on the tool, you'll notice that the options are very few. And the modes you see here are similar to the other selection tools, which is you can add to the current selection, remove, or just select where they intersect. You can feather the edges. If you choose to feather the edges, make sure you apply it before you make your selection. And of course, interactive boundary. I haven't found many uses for this, and I'm not really sure that it's working properly. So we're not really going to cover this in this video. So let's talk about how to use the scissor selection tool, also known as the intelligent scissors. What I want you guys to do is open up the dog looking out the window photo, and you should see what I see right here. With the scissor select tool chosen, let's go ahead and get started. So the way the scissor selection tool works is it allows you to select an outline of an object. So let's use the dog as our outline. Let's start down here and I'll show you how the tool works. I'm just going to go up the side of the dog to the edge of his fur and I'm going to click. And you'll see that the intelligent scissors, they try to draw the path as best they can to where they think the edge is. Let's choose another one up here and you'll see it kind of does the best it can. It's not a really accurate tool, but to be honest, there's really not many uses for this tool. In fact, I very rarely use it. So let's go around the foot. You see it tried to do the best it could there. Let's just finish it off like that. After you made your outline and you're ready to turn this outline into a selection, because if you notice, there's no marching ants. This is not a selection yet. What we're doing is drawing an intelligent path around this perimeter. So anyway, when you're done, to complete the path, you simply hover over the first control point that you created, and you'll see those linking chains appear. If you click it, now you've completed the outline. Now before we turn this into a selection, I want to show you a few things you can do before you turn it into a selection. These little white dots are called control points, and I can click them and drag them, anywhere I want and you'll see that the path is updated based on where I drag them. Sometimes it draws a better path, sometimes it doesn't. And if you find a spot like right here, I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better. If you find a spot where you think, oh I wish I would have added one more control point. Well you actually can. You see the plus sign appear above the scissors? Well if I click it, I add a control point. And now I can drag it up to where I wanted it before. And just like that, I have a new path that's a little bit closer to what I want it. Like I said, this is not a very accurate tool, and I don't recommend using this tool unless you're in a hurry, or accuracy really doesn't matter. And then, sure, go ahead and use the scissor selection tool. Anyway guys, once your path is all done, what you do is you press the enter key, and now you've turned your path into a selection. Once you have the selection, you can do all sorts of stuff, just like with any other selection tool. Like I said, guys, it's not really an accurate tool, but if you're in a hurry and accuracy doesn't matter, then go ahead and use it. Anyway, guys, I hope this video helped, and let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you in the next video.